Welcome back. Uh, I just got chills before we went on. Effort gave me some chilling pool list news. I'm very excited. He looks like he's ready to explode with excitement. Put it like this. You will be on board with me on this one. Guaranteed. Well, that's the first time for everything. No, this is, yeah, no, but this is, you're going to be like, I'll leave it there. that tease doesn't tickle your taint right there <laughs> i don't know what it will <laughs> i am uh ray doomzilla uh joined by the maximum effort grayson here on the sf company hour number 176 here on the sf combo co youtube channel um some uh, some stuff to talk about today we got some uh, i got a couple of toy things we're going to talk about uh the passing of uh the great matthew perry uh yeah uh yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough one uh, and uh, a little bit of some trailers dropped this week. We've got the Echo trailer for uh, Disney Plus and uh, Oh, I uh, forgot to watch that. Hmm. Uh, well, all right. Well, we'll, we'll see you. Uh, 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 live reaction. <laughs> oh, okay, good. I'm 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 gonna set I'm gonna set that one up right now. There you go. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, oh, a couple, a couple... <laughs> Damn, you're gonna get a good one, huh? Uh, 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 Kingdom, uh, Kingdom of the Crystals, uh, Kingdom of Crystal Skull, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes uh, is, uh, come, uh, also dropped the trailer this week. Uh, a couple of news uh, bits about Marvel, some rumors and uh, speculations. Uh, we'll give you a little tease. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we have um, a big episode episode of uh, uh, the state of the Mar Marvel Universe with the, the Gold Dirty Bastards and Hondo. Uh, so it's going to be, a, uh, we're going to talk a lot of Marvel. What, like, basically, we're just going to talk all Marvel, just kind of what the state is, where it's going, where, where we want it to go, uh, and just what they're doing wrong right now, what they're doing right. So we'll talk about that. Also, we'll give you a little tease today and uh, set up for that. Uh, but welcome, everyone. If uh, if you're new here, uh, like and subscribe, press that thumbs up, help the algorithm, share the video, all that good stuff. Comment. Uh, give us your hot takes because uh, we'll give you uh, give you ours. Uh, hello, all. What's up, Krista? Good to see you. Uh, Renee, what's up? Good morning. All hail comic books, horror, sci-fi, fantasy, anime, manga, etc., etc. Uh, welcome, Renee. Uh, yeah, come uh, come join us in the chat if you're uh, watching. Uh, give us your all your nerd opinions, uh, and uh, we'll. <coughs> I'll tell you why you're wrong. No. Uh, <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> uh, Renee, I totally agree. There's nothing good at the movies right now. <laughs> I've been looking. I've been wanting to go to a movie. I kept on looking. There is a lot of crap out there. I want to see that, that Scorsese movie, but I'm not trying to sit through a three and a half hour movie that's going to be on Apple in a couple months. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, there's nothing good out right now. I'm, the, the only thing I'm looking forward to is Godzilla Minus One. Uh, which is coming out and tickets are on sale folks tickets are on sale uh i that week is super busy so i bought I'm, is that is it imax i not here not 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 in the city apparently but hopefully this one they, looks like it's definitely imax dude, dude that, that latest trailer just dropped a couple days ago i was gonna watch it but then i was like it's guys all i gotta watch it and it looks fucking good, man. Yeah, people like Gareth Edwards came out and said this is the best Godzilla movie ever. Uh, so that's you know it's it's getting high praise. It had a big premiere. Godzilla Day was, of course, uh, yesterday, November third. So a lot of people uh, are uh, pumped on the Godzilla. Uh, everybody's jumping on board the Godzilla bandwagon. And I never left, man. It was always Godzilla, man. Kaiju's forever, bro. Kaiju forever, man. So yeah, that's um yeah. There's there's nothing out right now, so. A lot of good TV though. A lot of <coughs> TV right now, so <coughs> movies right now, but we have a lot of good TV right now. So yeah, G Gen Z was great. Invincible started back up. Uh, we got One Piece. We got fucking. There's a there's a couple other good ones out there right now. So yeah, a lot of good TV out there. We'll talk some uh, pull list later, and uh, we'll we'll give you some racks for sure. Uh, all right, all right. So all right, let's get this one out of the way. Uh, this one, this one, uh, this one fucking hurt, man. This one fucking got got me. Got me, uh, got me in the feels this week, man. Uh, one of my favorite uh, characters, TV characters, uh, Chandler Bong, um, passing away. Matthew Perry, 
uh, apparent drowning. Uh, he was, of course, dealing with a lot of uh, drug issues, uh, uh, opiate addiction. Um, he, he, he just came out with a book last year. I'm, I'm kind of curious to read that book. I want to I kind of want to check that book out. Kind of dealing with his addiction, how he was like struggling with, uh, with addiction during the Friends eras, the night oh, the ten years of Friends, uh, and so he's been, been kind of dealing with that the last couple of years. Uh, he last he appeared in that um, Friends reunion last year. He looked didn't didn't look great, man. His speech was all kind of all over the place, kind of slurring his speech, and uh, it, it just kind of sad that, that it, he had to go out like that. But it looked like he was kind of recovering, kind of getting back on track, and he was like. <laughs> Uh, telling this story to kind of help people out and uh, uh, kind of let, let them know, hey, man, we're all dealing with this. Uh, you're not alone uh, dealing with this. Uh, and of course, Friends is, you'll most mostly know him from Friends. He was, that's the main thing he was on. Chandler Bing, one of my favorite TV characters of all time. Just the fucking humor, his sarcasm, his wit. Uh, I related to I'm I, I'm I'm one I'm that I'm that guy I'm that guy in our in our friendship I'm just have to make the awkward sarcastic jokes uh, and I related to him a lot man he was just well the best thing about that show um, uh, just a great 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 uh, outside too he had some great roles in uh, you know whole nine yards and fools rush in and stuff uh, oh, some great 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 underrated i just underutilized uh some great uh great shows that never really caught on like studio uh studio 60 which i thought was a great show by aaron sorkin uh kind of a snl kind of type show uh just never never caught on never got to say a lot of shows he did never got a second season which was kind of unfortunate uh of course uh effort is uh loading did the cat did the cat take him out did the cat take him out cat cat might have taken him out uh we'll see oh well well, let's see. Well, we got du double. Yeah, we got I know. I know. Fucking Kenobi can't stop me. Uh, why do you have to get away, Kenobi? Wow. Well, well you, you had to set up <laughs> multiple. <laughs> yeah. Now now he's stepping on the power button on the top of the system. Yeah. Like, son of a bitch. He's learning. He's learning. He's testing the uh, testing the fences. Uh, yeah. So Matthew Perry, man, like one of my favorite characters uh friends like i said i related to the guy a lot and it probably if it wasn't for him i probably would have maybe dipped out at some point because he kind of was i think the heart of that group uh and he kind of kept everything together and just that those fucking one-liners man those fuck he just had the best fucking humor the sarcastic uh, humor man oh uh, he just brought it man he brought it all the, every time man he was just great 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 just one of my favorite tv characters uh so effort yeah, man what are your thoughts on this one man Dude, well, I, yeah, you know, I think he was one of those things that, uh, one of those actors that brought me into Friends. I, I, w I wasn't so much of a Friends person, you know. It's it yeah. was cool, it was all right, it wasn't my cup of tea, but that fucker was funny on it. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm tr I'm trying to remember stuff, and I I don't see it listed here, but I could have swore he, or it, it might have been some other show, but he played a character. I, I think it was uh, Married with Children. He played the good guy that Kelly brought home to, so she can go out with the wrong dude. I think I think it, I'm not sure who that was, but was it that or was it Growing Pains? I know it was Growing Pains. Oh, yeah, it, was, that, it could have been Growing Pains. I think, I think that was Growing Pains, where he was, was like the, where he, he was, was like, like the, the nice guy. Yeah, the nice guy, and she wanted like she wanted to go out with the other dude, but she. Uh, uh, so she she brought Matthew uh, Matthew per uh, Perry's character to like to be like the oh uh, I'm the nice guy your girl your daughter I think that was uh, I think that was growing pains I kind of yeah. remember that. It, it, but the thing is I don't think that okay yeah because I don't see I don't see him and um, I don't see Mary Carol Mitchell. Seaver going out with the wrong guy that's the whole thing like Carol Seaver Tracy Gold's character she wasn't that kind of like that. She, she was like a bookworm smart that she wouldn't go out with. Or maybe I'm misremembering the episode because sometimes they don't or include some of those. The, or maybe who's the boss, maybe? Could have been who's the boss. Uh, Alyssa Milano looks like she's probably that dude. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you're, you know, fucking her her character that at the, at that time. Sam. Yeah, I could see. I could see who the, who's yeah, the boss doing been, that. Yeah, it might have been who's the boss. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking it was either. I, I was pretty. I was thinking it was. You know what it is? I think it's because they included Matt LeBlanc in Married yeah, with Matt Children. LeBlanc, yeah, he was the. Yeah, he was in that. Uh, yeah, and then top of the heap. But yeah, Matthew Perry was sick, man. 
whole nine yards. Uh, he he's got he's fools rush is my favorite thing that he's he was in yeah. and uh, it, almost it, it, almost it, heroes with fucking Farley. Yeah, that was uh, Farley's that was, last last movie too. Yeah, right? and, mean, yeah. and him him and him and Farley together are fucking great. He has this fucking just awkward fucking. Of course, this is why this is happening, but uh, it's fucking great, dude. It's it, it, you don't get that kind of natural uh, comedy anymore from from people anymore. Yeah, just like, na- like, yeah. yeah. It's it's a lot of his personality injected into the thing. Yeah, and it's like real. Like it's like like those comments are like shit you would say to your friends. Like really, like <laughs> like, uh, like some of the like some of my favorite episodes. Like people shit on friends now. Like that's a cool thing. Like oh fuck friends. And I know it's, that it's a it's a fun show, man. I don't like but certain characters in it, like, but it's a fun that, show. Yeah, that scene in the Blackening where like oh I don't watch Friends, and then they ask the question about Friends, and then like uh, everyone knew the an- like everyone knew the answer. It's like motherfucker, well, yeah, you watch Friends. I gotta watch the Blackening again, bro. It's <laughs> funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and like yeah people are like yeah people shit on it but the millions of people were watching tv back in the, those days there that that show was getting like 30 million fucking people watching that show every week and the reruns are crazy they're all like all the fucking time uh so yeah you, it's a cool thing to hate on friends now like oh it's unfunny it's all good. like uh, yeah you could say that but if you just watch chandler bing's fucking scenes uh you can't say that shit's not fucking hilarious dude he was fucking the best character on that show uh life <laughs> one of my favorite lines when they're watching the prom video of uh ross uh ross and um rachel and monica at prom and <laughs> oh, i remember this that's when Monica was a little heavier, and she's like, she's like, like I think Joey's like, whoa, somebody ate Monica. She's like, the camera adds ten pounds, and without a fucking beat, man. He's like, how many cameras were on you? <laughs> one of the best lines in TV history. That's one of the best fucking lines, man. Just that kind of shit was great. Uh, the fucking episode when they they win the apartment with the game show. Uh, you know the fucking Chandler Bong fucking episode. <laughs> and <that's, laughs> And just uh, dude, that episode is great. He, he he just him and Joey's relationship, man. Their bromance was still one of the best TV fucking bromances ever. Uh, they were just so great together, man. Just like fucking real, felt like real buddies. That you know, just fucking. They, that's what should have happened. Like these two guys should have been joined at the hip, like doing shit together, like Martin and Lewis, man. It would have been hilarious. These guys just had fucking natural chemistry. Yeah, yeah, and. And it sucks too because when you go back and watch it, he he was very open about this. Like there were certain seasons where he was like, "Oh, this is a season I was on coke." I saw those videos. Yeah, yeah, this is a season I was fucking doing opioids. I was doing you know this this season. You could tell like you could tell like some his face is like red and he he fluctuated from like two forty to like one eighty. Like he fucking just dropped instantly. yeah, there was like there were some of the early seasons he was like super skinny and thin, and was just doing like he said he was doing a bunch of coke, and just uh, yeah. So he it sucks that he was um, struggling with this, but like I said, he was he was trying to you know trying to you know get better and trying to help people out and telling his story and getting it out there. Like, hey man, you're not alone. You're uh, you know everyone. Yeah, there people are dealing with addiction all the time. So it's 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 a cautionary tale for sure. Um, Fifty six is young, man. That's a young fucking. Uh, that's 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 too young, man. I feel like he had a lot of fucking left in the tank, man. Dude, the whole thing about it for me is just like it's what all I hear is a parent drowning. Ah, it's just it's just at the first first time I heard everything, it just sounded shady. Yeah, in a way. So yeah. like, I don't know if there's I, and the thing is I don't want to think about that kind of shit, but you know I don't know what it is that what comes with being somebody in Hollywood. There's just yeah, a lot of shady shit that happens out there. Man. The only question, like, oh, well, like, what's the what's the real story? What's the, like? There's always Ex- a, a there's always a like a behind the thing. Like, oh, well, like it's always <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's always grain of salt when you hear some shit like this. Man, e the e true Hollywood story, you know? Yeah, uh, I just I just don't want to think that. I just I, and I don't want to think that he fucking just ju- you know it was like his addiction that. I think that's where I think it comes from for me. I just don't want to believe that he would do that after, you know, just fucking uh, just trying to spread that positivity of trying to get better. Yeah. You know, so uh, it's just it's sad. I just I don't know what to believe on shit, just the way they're reporting it. And yeah, it's always like information what's, being what's, let out. What's the truth, right? Yeah. Uh, Renee used to watch on NBC and repeats on uh, Channel 2. Yeah, I, I remember when uh, I was a big Seinfeld guy, and uh, that was that time slot. Uh, oh, yeah, Seinfeld, that's where I, Seinfeld that's, and ER. 
That's where like you kind of had to watch Friends because he wanted to watch <coughs> ER after Seinfeld. So you know, he, uh, I remember the first episode. I was I was pretty hooked. I liked the the dynamic. Uh, some of the characters got annoying after time, uh, but it was still a fun watch. Like fucking, Ch- but Chandler was definitely my my go to man. That was my guy, man. That episode when uh, he's stuck in the box, you know, Joey puts him in the box because he's in love with uh, Joey's girlfriend and he, he's trying to be pe- penance and like he didn't have to say anything. He was just in the box, but he uh, like he, he was he's still Matthew. When he puts his finger up to say bye to the lady, and it's like he didn't have to say a word. And just that little moment, uh, I just love Chandler being mad. He just went, I'm gonna rewatch Friends just because just for Chandler, uh, like uh, and mostly. I rewatched that show many times, but I'm I, I got I'm watching again just in focus on Chandler, which I usually already do anyways. Uh, his, reaction, his his reaction to Joey putting on all his shit. You that's know. the total opposite. Of- <laughs> it's the total opposite. Yeah. Oh my god, it's the total opposite. Yeah, I fucking uh, it's just great. Everything, all of his like just his physical comedy, how he reacted to shit. Yeah, man. It, yeah, when he did, Joey gave him the gave him the bracelet. He's like, I paid the fool. <laughs> like, I paid the fool. <laughs> hey, he's fucking cold, man. Uh, Renee, that damn theme song stuck in my head now. I'll be there for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's one of the theme songs that I despise. It's that was everywhere for a minute too. That was yeah, like, dude. It was on the radio. It's it was on fucking too fucking music catchy. Video. It's too fucking catchy. It's like uh. It's like an Oscar Mayer fucking advertisement, bro. That just gets into burns into your fucking head. I don't. Thanks, Renee. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm gonna have that uh, all fucking day now. So, uh, <laughs> uh, any of your favorite episodes, uh, Chandler episodes, uh, friends you can think of? Uh, yeah, where they switched apartments. That's yeah. That's probably my favorite. Yeah, that's probably my that, favorite. that's probably just just the best. You know why, too? Like, for a long time, sitcoms, uh, the women would win. Anytime there was a game show, anytime there was, like, some kind of contest, the women would win. They, we, we had, yeah, women had to have a... Uh, fucking this pretty much the fucking egg and shit, you know? Yeah. Every time the girls won. Every time the girls won in a sitcom, if there's a boys against girls, and so it's like, all right, I get it. You want... Well, women should have some wins. But this is, like, the first time, like, the guys won something. Like, the guy, uh, guys in the show won something. So it was like, yes, we got one. <laughs> and they got a big one. Yeah. They, they got a big one, dude. Oh, the, switching, <laughs> the switching in the apartments was epic. His, like, his mannerisms, his, like, this is, like, even his physical, like, mannerisms, his, like, reactions and his, like, over, you know, kind of overacting, but, like, in the comedic way. Very just like very subtle shit that he would do in the show was just fucking on point, man. Uh, so yeah, Ma- yeah, Matthew Perry, man. Uh, dude. Uh, all right, so uh, live action wise, uh, live action uh, movie wise, uh, Fools Rush In, your favorite? Um, hmm, let me just probably yeah, probably Fools Rush In. I mean, I just dude, the one of the best lines in that fucking movie, and I get it because I'm fuck you know I'm Mexican. I have a, I have a Chewy, in the family, <laughs> and when you're a kid. Coming from you know America, going to Mexico, and you've already seen Star Wars. You hear Chewie, you're just like, "Fucking my cousin's a Wookie," <laughs> and, and and it's great because he just walks up and goes, "Hi, this is Chewie." He goes, "Hi, Chewie, Luke Skywalker." <laughs> One of the fucking greatest lines in fucking in ever in, in, in any yeah, fucking in the trailer movie. Too, right? I think yeah, it's in the trailer. It's a funny fucking movie, dude. I'm not a big rom com guy. I'm not, but it's Matthew Perry. Selma Hayek, thank you. Yeah, they had good chemistry. That's, and they had great chemistry. You know, he it's, it's, himself it, that it's one of his favorite roles he's uh, he did. Oh, I'm sure. It's just, yeah. I, I think, and the other thing, because it's like, it's that fish out of water. He has to immerse himself into the culture. I, I get the culture. Because like when he's going down to Mexico, he they're telling him, he goes, they're like, how do I get down to here? And they're like, trambia. And he's like, oh, what? And they're like, trambia. It's like, say again? And he goes, Trambia. And he's like, just stands there. Well, what the hell is a Trambia? And he goes, that truck right over there. Mm. Beautiful comedy and shit. Because that shit does happen in fucking in, in Mexico. They will fucking fuck with you. They'll just say that one word and then tell you in English after you <laughs> after you say something. So it, it's just, it's great. Uh, yeah. I, I love Fool's Rush shit. It's, it's just 50, 56? That's just 56? Young, yeah. That's what yeah. you got. 56, yeah. dude. Studio, and, Studio 60. Under have you have you seen Studio sixty? No. Um, it's, it's a, that, watch that show. It's it's written by Aaron Sorkin. 
It's basically uh, he plays pretty much uh, Lauren Michaels, oh, or, or, like a, or like a Lauren Michaels replacement on SNL, and uh, that's a fucking really good show. Some great great actors on there. Um, uh, I think it just kind of kind of I think probably ahead of its time. I, I, I can't really tell why it didn't work. Like Bradley Whitford was on there, Stephen Weber, D.L. Hughley, Sarah Paulson was on there. Uh, Nate Cordry. It, it was a really good show. If you can find that show, uh, well, if you can find that show, I would say um, uh, check it out for sure. What, what's it called again? Uh, Co- uh, Studio, Studio, 60, in Studio 60. Yeah, why is my your internet fucked up? Mine, I'm, I think mine's fucked um, up. My, yeah, no, I'm going just fine. Yeah, we get a, we're a little glitchy today. Hmm. Yeah, huh. yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking, but I don't see it. See, that's what I mean. Sometimes they're not. They're they have credits that people don't remember, so they're not listed. Yeah. You know, like so yeah. I, I trip out at some of the shit that, that, that they don't see. Fucking just a bit actor in the fucking role. I think it's Chaz yeah. Palminteri, like in Last Dragon. <laughs> he was the yeah, driver. Uh, yeah. I, I never saw that. Saw that seventeen again with uh, Zac Efron. I oh, I saw. I saw that. That was yeah. good. It was. It was fun. You know, mm. I I liked it better when it was more. Uh, who Charlie Charlie Ladder and uh, George Burns. Mm. Eighteen again. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, he went from being 81. I think that that movie holds more heart. I yeah. I, I, do, I don't like the, the age Freaky Friday shit. If you're going to do it, go fucking. Yeah. The, the concept has been done so much. Sometimes it's good. Like Freaky. Vice, I thought was actually... vice versa was great. Yeah. Freaky was cool. There's like a family swap one coming out too with uh, Ed Helms. I saw, I saw like a thumbnail for. Uh, but yeah, that, that concept has been done a lot. <laughs> All right, Hollywood, so I, Hollywood's running out of ideas, man. They, they, they got a mismatch shit, but they, they just don't know how. Well, they, uh, now they're doing, you know, like time travel, but it's a slasher movie. Or they're doing, you know, you know Groundhog Day, but it's a horror movie. Uh, so it's just kind of, yeah, kind of run out of ideas, just retold, like combining ideas, which sometimes works, sometimes it's clever. But, <clears throat> but yeah, it's, it's getting like getting rougher and rougher. Uh, so I repeat Matthew Perry, man. Uh, just, yeah, this is a sad one, man. Way too young, 56. And I just like felt like he was getting his shit together and was getting his life together, man. So that kind of bums me out. He, was, he was in the Renaissance. Yeah, he was getting his shit together. He wrote his book. I I'm curious about the book, and uh, kind of you know, uh, you know, hey, we got but ten seasons of Friends and a bunch of great movies and TV shows to watch him and appreciate his work. But yeah, man, he's gonna be missed, man. Definitely one of my faves, man. So R.I.P. Matthew Perry. R.I.P. Matthew Perry. Man. Yeah. All right. Uh, thumbs up, like, and subscribe to SF Comic Book Co. every week. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, with the Gold Dirty Bastards uh, uh, sports channel, uh, we're going to do an MCU uh, kind of state of in a couple weeks. Uh, I was on there drunkenly on Halloween. Uh, if oh you my want God. To, I was on there for like a half hour. <laughs> uh, it was good until a point until somebody showed up. I had to leave. Uh, but um, Whoa. Oh yeah, watch the drama hey, hey. live. Yeah. Oh no, sh- no shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I'm intrigued now. Uh, but yeah, now go check them out. They, you know, talk shit, sports talk. You know, like fucking uncensored oh. sports talk. Go check them out. And echo trailer. Oh. Fucking. Oh yeah. Well, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that soon. Uh, and so uh, yeah, go check them out. Uh, they'll be on uh, the channel in a couple weeks. Uh, was it the 14th we agreed on? That was our day. Uh, yeah, the 14th, so in a couple uh, week or two, a week and a half, Tuesday the 14th, uh, 7 p.m., we're going to do a big state of Marvel, just kind of our Marvel bitch session. So we'll, uh, we'll jump into that uh, uh, during that time. Uh, so speaking of which, uh, let's uh, – uh, actually, you know what? We'll save that for towards the end. Uh, let's uh, – got some stuff to figure out, uh, Mr. Effort. What are we figuring out? Let's what's, figure some stuff what, out. What figures – Figures. Figuring it out with Ray Doomzilla. There you go. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just a couple of re- uh, toy uh, Hasbro uh, release some stuff, some pre-orders. Uh, just a couple of things here that look cool. I'm obsessed with the GI Joe classified line. Finally got my chuckles in. Uh, amazing figure, really cool. Um, uh, so that's in. Did they bring the box over here? No, what's the box over here? Oh, whatever. Who's uh, that? Uh, Hasbro, 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 GI Joe classified. They got uh, some pre-orders that came out. Uh, this is a six scale, uh, 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 the vamp, uh, like a Jeep, uh, Jeep, uh, assault vehicle, whatever the hell. Uh, and, uh, that's going off for pre-order. It's a hundred bucks. So if you want to pre-order it, uh, I was on the fence about that one. It looks cool, uh, but I just, it's, 
so fucking big. Where are you going to fucking put it? My G.I. Joe display is already fucking out of control. Uh, but I, I'm really loving this series. Uh, and also pre-order came out for uh, uh, Junkyard and Mutt. Uh, this figure is awesome. I have the, the old school figure also. Uh, I love the 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 dog comes with the, the good boy face and the bad boy face. Uh, it, it looks fucking awesome. And you can do uh, some cool poses. He's just sitting there. He's a good boy sticking his tongue out. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I love like um, uh, in scale animals. So uh, pre-ordered that one for sure. Um, the cool look effect. A lot of cool accessories. You got a bunch of hands. Got the uh, baton. Yeah, the figure. Kind of the same shit the the original figure came with. The helmet, the mask, and the baton and stuff. Uh, very cool figure back in the day. They're really cool updating it now. So that's a pre-order. And the last one I pre-ordered uh, a little Scarlet Spider action. People have been waiting. Ooh, yeah. yeah. People have been waiting for a good spot. There's been a lot of Scarlet Spider figures, but this one is the one uh, people will kind of been waiting for on that classic old school animation, Spider-Man animation card back right there. Uh, this figure looks fucking really cool, man. Pre-ordered this one also. Uh, so yeah, cool, cool Scarlet Spider figure. I love that design. I was always, I like, I, I had issues with the clone saga storyline, uh, but I did like the Ben Riley uh, costume. Like it was just kind of simplified with the fucking like homemade, uh, you know, with the sweater, and I think he bought, pr- picked up the sweater from like a spider exhibit at a museum, and then like cut it up and made it part of his costume. Uh, so yeah, a very complicated story back in the day, the clone sock, <laughs> but some cool shit came out of it. Uh, Scarlet Spider being one of them. Uh, so yeah, man. Any anything stands out to you, man? Uh, go back to that junkyard of mutt. I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah, see, I like I like the. I wish they had more accessories for. For mutt though, or junkyard, like uh, I don't know, just Whoa, the, just the head. What? Yeah, you got yeah. two heads. Hmm. I don't know, maybe a different harness. I think because he... The, the, he does come with a lot of hands though. It's a lot of accessories. Yeah, that's pretty. Like that's pretty good. A little bit more yeah, for yeah. the dog. What what else do you want for the dog? A pooping fucking. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> and, 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 the bad, and the and the and the bad boy face, the bad you know, just. You want a fucking poop fucking bag and a fucking a puppy dog eyes? Just get get him a get him a bowl. <laughs> a bowl a bowl would have been nice. You could probably find a, 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 a six scale bowl. Uh, he'll yeah, he'll be he'll be rocking the good boy uh, good boy flaps when I get when I get him. Uh, that's pretty he's dope a, though. He's a good. I don't boy. know how I feel about the. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen. Mutt wear a fucking mask like that. Yeah, the figure. Well, the original figure came with that. Oh, okay. Oh, he came okay. with like a mask. I forgot what the purpose was, but yeah, he, the original <laughs> figure came with the gun, the baton, and the the helmet and the mask. I like. I always question the too. Why does he have a mask? I, I don't remember him wearing that in the the cartoon at all, right? Nope. Yeah, but that that usually these figures go, stay pretty close to either the cartoon or the uh, <coughs> comic, the original, the, original, the original toy line. <coughs> uh, so yeah, so it's a. Uh, I'm digging it. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, yeah, dang Rick, so picky. He's very particular. He's very picky. He wants things a certain way. If they're not a certain way, he's going to complain about it. It's very true. Very true. <laughs> I will blow the nit, fuck nit, up. Nit, What's nit, going on here? Nitpick Rick. <laughs> we should have that's a new section. <laughs> <Rick's nit. nit. laughs> wow, petty. I, will, I am very petty, and and uh, solicited petty picks. <laughs> Damn. I don't know if there are any petty picks that I have. <laughs> Dark City? There you go. Watch that, Ray. <laughs> Told you, on your deathbed, I'm just going to bring a yeah. laptop yeah. and just sit on there and watch it. <laughs> look and you'll, you'll look, at, look at this port. Look at this port. You did it. I, dude, I will fucking wait. I will wait till the fucking movie ends so I can die happy. Uh, yeah. We get 10,000 subscribers, I'll watch it. <laughs> we'll do a live stream. <laughs> We need to start the Patreon. Just like hey, Rick's, Rick's all like, oh, I guess we're not watching it. <laughs> I guess we're never going to watch it. Spread the word. Anybody, the two watchers right now, spread the word right now. Yes, yeah, spread the word. Spread the word. <laughs> I need, he needs to watch Dark City so I can die a happy person. Rick's going to buy doesn't one take, of those. Doesn't, fucking... doesn't take much. Well, he's going to buy that fucking subscriber, fucking those bots and fucking just fucking get it. <laughs> Don't give me ideas, bro. That's a fucking probably... <laughs> Probably cheaper than fucking trying to pay you to do it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's uh let's go jump into that Kingdom of the uh, Planet of the Apes trailer that dropped. 
a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally forgot this was even fucking happening. Like fucking, it was like in the the waves for like so long. Uh, so this is finally happening. Uh, who's directing this one? Uh, that's one thing I didn't trip on, dude. Uh, let me see who is. Of it's course, Matt. Matt was it Matt Reeves uh, directed uh, the two last ones, right? Who directed the uh, the first one? As uh, Paul, uh, was it not Paul Greengrass? Um, oh, no. let me see. I don't even remember now. It was a good director, though. Not yeah, Matt. I'll tell you who. Rise, right? Rise. Uh, so this one's directed by Wes Ball. Rupert. Rupert Wyatt. Rupert Wyatt, yeah. Yeah. Wes Ball, who directed uh, the Maze Runner movies, which I never saw. Um, <laughs> which other <laughs> shit. Uh, so, uh, so that's uh, that's always kind of like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know his work, so I don't know uh, if it's going to be good or not. But trailer looks pretty good. Uh, this is kind of one, kind of what I wanted to see. From uh the last uh, uh, the war for the planet it was good, I just was kind of underwhelmed by it. I was like, when you say war of the planet of the Apes, I thought it was gonna be an all out big ass yeah. war. It was just kind of a battle at one spot, and it was kind of kind of man, okay, uh, not not great. But this one uh, looks pretty interesting. The only thing that like, looks kind of off is the voice. The voices look kind of off to me, mm -hmm. like the, the the mouse and the special the effects. They have, yeah, the sync looks kind of off to me. Uh, but yeah, the, the, it looks beautiful. Looks like a, a really it looks like it's a well-made movie. Uh, this is set. Uh, I think I, uh, I remember reading it was going to be set a couple hundred years after uh, the events of war. Uh, so I, I don't know. If, I'm, I'm sure this is like a descendant of a uh, of uh, Cornelius and all them all them cats. Uh, so this is going to be. Um, let's see. This is yeah. This is coming out in May 24, uh, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, Let's see. Uh, screenplay by Josh Friedman, Rick Jaffa, Amanda Silver, and Patrick Ellison. That's uh, that's always scary too when you have like multiple that many writers. Yeah, yeah that's always kind of like to like that's a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Like, how many times does this go through a through um <laughs> through a fucking uh, rewrite? Uh, but uh, let's see. And uh, Owen Teague, uh, Freya Allen, Kevin. Dur so this is our William H Macy is the only name I kind of recognize. So there's a lot of Ke like Kevin Kevin Durand. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's for the Warriors, right? Yeah. No, no, no. That's um, <laughs> did you did you, did you see the last least uh, last season of Lock and Key, or no? I didn't watch the last season. Okay, uh, he played. Oh, okay, I recognize he, that guy. He I played Blob who. in uh, yeah, Wolverine yeah, yeah, Origins yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, he, he's know. he's a he's a pretty good actor. I like him. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's yeah. a good actor. I don't recognize Owen Teague, uh, William H Macy, uh, of course, uh, you know. It it looks like it's not the best what they're they're throwing forward. You know, they're, it looks like they're going budget with this. Uh, yeah. Director wise, you know, like you just said, oh, too uh, many too many screenwriters. I'm excited for this because I fucking dig the Planet of the Apes. I love it. Even the bad movies, I kind of like. like yeah, <laughs> some of the I, bad ones. I, I, like, I don't I don't I don't consider them. Some of them I don't consider bad though. The one only one I consider bad is the Burton one. one. Yeah, and yeah. some parts of it I like. You know, some parts of it I, I really don't like. Uh, yeah, some of those later early ones are little, little uh, like battle and stuff. <laughs> they're a little, they're budget for sure. Uh, this was filmed in uh, 2022, October 2022, and uh, wrapped in February 2024. This is kind of during like pandemic, post pandemic time. Um, so this is, uh, I want to see how long. Yeah, I have not having fucking Andy Circus in, uh, involved with this kind of, uh, I like kind of like. Uh, he, and the C CG looks a little subpar. I'm not sure if the same studio or they're going a little like because they're saving the budget. Looks a little off. Yeah. yeah. It just looks a little off to me. It doesn't look as crisp as the other planet, uh, as the other uh, apes movies. Uh, so this is a uh, this is the premise from uh, Wikipedia, or such a reliable source. Uh, generations after the events of War of the Planet of the Apes, 2017, many ape clans have emerged in the oasis to which Caesar led his fellow apes. While the humans have regressed to a feral state, when the ape leader uh, Proximus Caesar, Proximus Caesar, for, uh, perverts the teachings of Caesar to enslave other clans in search of the last trace of hu secret human technology, the ape Noah embarks on a journey to find freedom along a, with a young human woman named May. Hmm. 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 So Caesar, you see, you see how we both? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's a it's a scary thing because. 
I, I'm not sure if that's a, you know, what, what's, what I, I get. So it's right now it's propaganda that pretty much that they're saying that the fucking person in charge is propaganda. Of course, you know, whoever's in charge is going to be in, you know, if Caesar was in charge, there was a fucking group of people who were going against them. You know, there's always going to be, like, I just, if this is hundred years after, what's this? Is this kid a descendant of Caesar? I, I think it's a couple hundred years. Yeah. From, I remember yeah. when they first uh, started. Well, yeah. So is Proxima Caesar just a name or like a title? I, like, I, oh, I think, I think that's just a title. And then we'll yeah. reveal that this kid is like a descendant of Caesar, like real descendant of Caesar or something like that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You know, I, yeah. I do like I do like seeing other, I uh, like like the orangutan. Um, are they? But he, some of these guys, they kind of look a little like future characters. You know, Doctor like, Zayas. Doctor Zayas. <laughs> Doctor Zayas. You know. Yeah, I wonder and, if they're leading to that. Are we gonna like go like we're gonna skip a couple more hundred years and go to like more of the original sixties plan? Of the and eight. then they re, and then they remake their because the, the thing is we haven't remade those yet. Yeah, we're doing yeah, everything. We it's, it's, a time, up too. it's a timeline. We did set that up in the first, uh, the first one, the dawn of the Planet of the Apes. There was a broadcast about uh, uh, astronauts going into space, so they they have set up like the original at some point. So, but uh, oh, I mean, very yeah, true. So, so they, very that's true. that's out there. So uh, I don't know. It's <clears throat> like I said, it looks a little wonky. <clears throat> the uh, the effects look a little wonky. Uh, it, no looks, real, it looks budget. Yeah, no real star power. I haven't seen anything the director has done, so I, I'm I, I'm not sure. Like the cool, the shots look cool with like you know him getting the bird on his uh, on his arm and stuff. That looked uh, cool. That's I felt like that was a trailer. Like, hey, let's do something cool for the trailer. I need something for the trailer. Like, hey, you should have a bird. Uh, so um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. It's uh, it's I, I like the Planet of the Apes. Like I'll, I'll watch it because I love Planet of the Apes. Uh, you know, you know what kind of you, it, it trips me out after now that you say that. That opening sequence, dude, it looks like a video game. Kind of, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, that that kind of scares me because even like the CG just looks, looks like a video game. Yeah, because those 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 uh, that trilogy, they spent some money on that trilogy, man. The, the effects were really fucking good. The, they were the, top notch. The voice work was great. The animal, you know, all the actor. The, uh, um, what's the, the Andy Circus should have won a fucking. Uh, at least a nomination. Yeah, for his acting. Yeah, yeah. They just do. It's uh, most of that. Uh, you know, those suit acting is not easy, man. Who's the other dude that was the bootleg Doctor Doom, and he was in there too? Uh, Toby, uh, Kobe Hall. No, not um. Who was the one? Uh, he was in there too. He played Jim. Kong. Uh, he played Kong in the Kong movies. Um. Oh, the first Kong original Kong movies, or yeah, the yeah, oh, in, yeah you, to, Kobe. What the hell is his name? Uh, Toby Toby Hall, is it Toby Hall? Is is it, uh, Peter Peter Hall? Peter Peter Mi Michael Peter Hall? <laughs> oh, I'm too, who is it? Peter. Hall. I'm giving people hello names now. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Toby Cabell, <laughs> Michael Peter Hall. <laughs> yeah. Wait, oh, Toby Cabell, who played uh, Koba? Yeah, yeah. So he he did a great. He played Kong in a. Uh, in uh, Kong uh, Skull Island, he was also in the movie too. He yeah, he also that. did the fucking. Uh, he did the work on Warcraft. He played. Yeah, he played one of the fucking uh, uh, orc orc leaders. Mm, yeah, and yeah, and, he, he's and, a he, he's great, man. And totally when you said Bootleg Doom, the first thing that went because you didn't <laughs> see that movie. I don't know if you saw that movie. Bootleg Doom, it, it fucking shot me to the Fantastic Four guy, the Julian Makamakamaka. Well, no, he played uh, in the the Tim in the the other ones, the one that came out the yeah after. yeah the one the the stupid yeah, the one Josh, with fucking Josh Trank, which uh, you know thing with no pants with Goose's son yeah yeah, yeah. he's forever known as Goose's son he's <laughs> Goose's son dude I, I I don't even know his actor name you know his real name or whatever <laughs> Miles Teller is yeah he's a son of a bitch fuck him. <laughs> Pretentious. I like, hey, I liked him in uh, I liked him in that movie though. Uh, he, I did like him. In, I like him in dude. I like him in the movie. You ever see Whiplash? No, I haven't seen that one yet. I, I watched watch Whiplash. J.K. Simmons is he's a yeah. beast, dude. I had a teacher just like that for seven years. And look, he turned out fine. Well, no I was rage. one of the I was one of the better players. He didn't have to no, yell at me. No rage issues at all. <laughs> uh, very true. I can see where it kind of comes from. <laughs> This is what I was taught, folks. This is what I was told. Yeah, seven uh, years. 
learned behavior. Uh, oh, shut up. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's talk some Marvel stuff. Uh, like I said, we're doing a big episode in a couple weeks. Uh, the state of Marvel. Uh, we're gonna we got a trailer that dropped uh, this week. Um, this is a Marvel Studios Echo. Echo, of course, uh, appeared in Hawkeye. Uh, she was uh, in the comics, uh, same same as in the show. She was raised by uh, Kingpin, kind of be like an assassin. She's of course deaf. Um, she has some. Uh, I don't think they're giving her powers. In she has powers in the um, uh, in the comics. I think they're kind of downplaying that in the the TV show. Uh, but we get a a, a trailer. Uh, Mr. Everett's going to watch it now. All right, uh, give me a second. Let me just write this down. Studio Marvel Studios on Disney Plus. Okay, so let me Danny, just a- Danny Whiplash, great movie. Mr. Catal- Catalano. That was the teacher, man. He had him too. My younger my younger brother had him too, bro. Oh yeah, really. Uh, yeah, Doc yeah, and uh, Mahardy. Doc and Mahardy. I, didn't, I didn't get yelled at because I was good, but yeah, Doc and Marty cartoon. Oh, Doc and oh. Marty cartoon. Oh, let me see. All right, uh, so Echo trailer. Okay, let's fucking watch this. And this is gonna be like the first. I've uh, never seen. I haven't seen this before. This is a Disney Plus, the first Disney Plus uh, TV MA, and it kind of gives you a, uh, like, oh, you have to turn off the family settings on your uh, Disney Plus if you want to watch this because cool. this is gonna be. Uh, so this MA? is the first. So this kind of gives me hope for some of the shit that uh, we know for a Punisher they're, show they're, or Daredevil. That's a good sign because they're pinning the hopes of this being able. Oh, that's kind of cool, Fisk. Yeah, Fisk looks like. Oh, that's kind of sick, though. That's kind of sick because that's that's like Kingpin, like comic book. Yeah, fucking just like wailing on a dude, on a dude. Oh, oh, they got fucking blood splattered. Oh, oh, that's great. I like that. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> so right. this is the yeah six episodes. Uh, they're showing Wait, how this- is she how is she busting through walls? Yeah, I guess you're gonna have to watch the show and find out. Oh, uh, that feels like they're fucking what giving her super serum. Yeah, they haven't explained how Fisk has his like he has some kind. It looks like he might have some powers in the MCU. Like in the comic, for a long time, he was just like a big fucking just dude that just, just works out. <laughs> yeah, he's just a street dude that fucking became up to be kingpin. Oof! Oh, dude, they shook a fucking gun, fucking execution. Oh yeah, yeah. This, this looks like a real R R show. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I like that the um the fight scenes are with a small ring right now. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of go going from her pers- uh, perspective. And she's actually deaf in real life too, I believe. She's actually a deaf actress. So that's cool. Like, yeah. you know, that's cool again. A little, little inclusion. There. Oh dude, that looks fucking that looks dope. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people were kind of like, and we were kind of like, why, why, why are we getting this show? Like, yeah, okay, but, look, see, but I don't think we were told that it was gonna go straight to M, like MA, like uh, mature yeah, audience. Yeah. That, you told me that. Oh, whoa, 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 you, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's different. Different. Ball. Look, I think there was a shot of Daredevil in there too, so Daredevil's gonna show up at some point too. Um, so yeah, this uh, it, it, they're dropping all the episodes at once. Uh, so that's uh, that's a, a, a new a strategy. Lot of so there, right. we've heard a, yeah, we've heard a lot of uh, mixed things on this. So hope like the the trailer, you know, looks cool. It looks like it, it looks like sick, dude. Yeah. So maybe that's just the trailer looking cool, and the show's not great. But uh, it it looks to me this is what it looks like. They're training John Wick from a child. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of see you her know. being trained to be an assassin. Yeah, and not the not level of John Wick, but they're training her to be an assassin from like that age. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's the world of the kingpin. I get that's mature, dude. Oh, that's good. This, I can't wait for this, dude. And yeah, this, everything's being released from what I heard about this. Yeah, six episodes are all going to be released. So you got your wish for one. So either that's a great uh, a sign that they, they don't care about it and they just want to get it out, get it over and put it out there. Uh, maybe it's a, it's a uh, maybe they release. Right. Maybe they don't get it. They just don't get it, and they're just trying to like fucking save face and just release it. And you hopefully think so? People forget about. Because uh, why would they go against their strategy like our, what they've done already? And they're just going to release it all at once. So I, I think maybe like, I think they just don't have a clue on what's good and what's bad nowadays. No, uh, I, what I what I think is that this is uh, this is brave of Marvel. I'll give them credit for this. So one, you're going to fucking introduce a new character. 
that or obscure character because that's our problem that's what we said you know obscure characters are a problem in in, in marvel trying to, yeah. to, to I lo- I, i'm all for obscure characters but you got to do it good though yeah do them good also like don't like you have like that's like the added bonus from all the other characters you have so many characters to play with and you're using you're these pushing characters. all these like these d-listers that yeah they're cool characters but i don't need to see a show i want to see a show about some i'll see uh, the big guns uh too so they're not bad ba- their balance is all kind of off right now agreed two the show is ma this is yeah. first for them right yeah yeah three they're releasing everything at once so that's new for them maybe they're trying out a new model yeah, I don't think they're gonna keep doing that. I think this is well, we, well, we don't are, know that based on the success of it. I think certain things are gonna like they, they like that everyone everyone's talking about their shit for like a, a month and a half. So what happened? Okay, so a show like Stranger Things, when it came out, it stayed number one for how long? Because of rewatchability. I I think from what this looks like, oh, dude, this looks like a fucking hardcore fucking uh uh crime drama with superheroes. Sopranos with fucking like with you know like super serums and shit. Oh, I'm for that. This looks like it's gonna be something more like that. Just I, I I'm looking at it from just the visual sales uh, of what they're doing. They were doing ex- executions like in Goodfellas, you know, under the fucking neck and just fucking popping them. I, I'm I'm excited for this, dude. <laughs> I'm super well because it, it's doing three things that I've I've asked of Marvel. Well, two things really. <laughs> you know, fucking give us a mature. And this is what I would have wanted from Star Wars. This is this is like the Hut's world. You know, this is what I would have wanted from that. Uh, but this looks fucking dope. You know, uh, I like it. Not I like it. I like it. No, I <laughs> like it. This, kinda, this, kinda this looks like it's gonna be fun. I, I, and I get the pickiness. I, I get that we're doing. I want to wait to reserve judgment now. I'm excited for it, very excited, but I want to wait for to reserve judgment because it could be kind of like a Guardians of the Galaxy kind of deal where an obscure character blows up. Yeah, or it could be, you know, fucking it could fall, it could fail too. Or it could be, but, or it could be horrible. And they just cut all the best scenes and put a trailer together. So that's very true. Before, we've seen awesome trailers with shit fucking movies, and we've seen shitty trailers with fucking Dude, awesome movies. So Falcon and Winter Soldier, Falcon and Winter Soldier, great trailers. Yeah, yeah, and kind of whimpered towards the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, just yeah, just a couple other rumors we'll, we'll kind of talk about, and uh, yeah, we'll save the the big talk for uh, in a couple weeks when we do our big Marvel show. Uh, but we had a uh, lot of Blade drama coming out this week, which is pretty uh, pretty crazy. Uh, a lot of things, a lot of speculation. A lot of people were saying that uh, the at one point because uh, the Blade was supposed to be out, but I think it was supposed to come out like this month like uh this was in production for a long time i think mahersha ali got announced how what, how many years ago four or five years ago mm-hmm. played and so the the script i guess went through a lot of changes uh last year they pretty much threw everything out uh they i don't think they started filming they just kind of they were supposed to start filming and two uh, two weeks before filming they fired uh the director uh they fired the writers and pretty much said we're gonna start from scratch uh, so some of the uh, some rumors, a lot of stuff is coming out right now, and uh, like I said, we'll save a bunch of the bulk of it for uh, uh, for the MCU uh, state of MCU. Uh, but like uh, they said, early drafts of the script where uh, Blade was like the fourth, third, or fourth lead in the movie. It was like female centric. Uh, they were like, um, uh, yeah, and Mar- uh, Mahersha Ali was good about the like uh, was going to walk because like, why am I doing this? Is like I, I signed up to do a Blade movie. I'm not like I'm barely in the movie. Uh, then one of the writers came, one of the writers, but I, th- I think they had so many writers. He said in his script, he was in like 99% of it. So I think the, the script went through a couple of rewrites. So some of this shit is like speculation and, and you know, people want clip, uh, clickbait shit and they just want to throw shit out there. Uh, but uh, the, and, and then people are giving this shit. Uh, I, I actually like this, like a Marvel Studios planning to bring Blade on a budget uh, of 100 million or under. Uh, like Blade does not need to be a two hundred fifty dollar, uh, hundred million dollar movie. Blade needs to be, be a low budget, semi horror fucking like uh, uh, horror film. Like it doesn't need to be a, a big budget. I don't need a, a bunch of uh, blades versus vampires, a big epic battle at the end. Just Blade versus a bunch of vampires. It, uh, you don't need to have a big budget for this. Uh, so I'm I'm glad they're uh, they're kind of scaling it back. And that's what they need to do with something. They're, they're, not every movie has to be a fucking big 
Like Shang Chi shouldn't cost three hundred million dollars. Yeah, no, that should have been fucking like Game of uh, like Into the Dragon or something. Yes, that should have been very. It should have been low budget kung fu fucking Marvel film. You don't need to have every fucking movie end with a big fucking battle at the end of, of a group of people fighting a group of people. Uh, none in a Shang Chi movie. No, that's fucking. They, they, they just thought they had the formula that would work. It doesn't work for every fucking character. Uh, so Oscar uh, nominated writer uh, Logan Ryder. Uh, Michael Green is the latest scribe to take a crack of the script, as far as we know. Um, uh, Jan Damage, uh, who stepped in to replace uh, Bossom Tarek earlier this year, is still on board to direct. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, given the violent nature of Vampire Slaying Hero, there's been some speculation that re the reboot might join uh, Deadpool 3 as studio's first R-rated feature. Yes, it should be rated R. However, Blade, uh, while Blade, however, while Blade is expected to be dark and gritty in tone, falling on the edgier side of the Marvel affair, it sounds like they aim to bring it in the usual PG-13. Um, not for a Blade movie. You're cutting off fucking heads and fucking doing crazy. No, 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 don't do that to Blade. Don't fucking cut his balls off. Uh, but uh, yeah, what do you think about this, man? This fucking crazy Blade. Uh, I, I, I called it. I called it. Well, not about the, the script and everything, but I was like, how are they going to do this without it being rated R? You're doing vampires. You're gonna have to show blood at some point. Yeah, and blood is almost an instant R rating. Yeah, you know, so almost instant. If, you know, yeah, I've you, seen, you can kind of get away with it if you change the color of the blood. If it's like well, black, PG, or, or, or you use digital. Sometimes digital blood, you can get away I with the PG thirteen. I hate digital blood too. Um, you know, more the more blood, the better. Sometimes, and especially in a vampire movie, the more blood, the better. You're, it's vampires. It's not like you get it's, <laughs> oh, the no, it's, 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 it's vampires. It's vampires. <laughs> it's like the aliens guy. <laughs> aliens. <laughs> no, because the thing is, look, okay, look, it's not like an action movie where some guy's gonna get shot or scraped and you're gonna have just like you know a smear of blood on his fucking arm. Fucking blood's gonna be popping like the fucking David when he fucking bites him on the fucking head, you know, top of the head, it's gonna splurt like a grapefruit. That's there's gonna be a lot of there has to be a lot of blood in vampire movies. There will be blood. There will be blood, man. And for them to get away with the PG-13 rating, I'm trying to think what, like it was Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Uh, the, and uh, and, it, and it, it was it, I think it might have been PG-13. I don't know if it have been. And, and it, we're not going to go into the Twilight shit, you know? You can't take it. That And that, that's the other problem I have. Didn't we learn from fucking Blade Trilogy? You don't make Blade who happens to be the marquee character in your fucking movie, a side character in his own fucking movie. Who I, the I, fuck I just, did this? Yeah. I, the first thing I thought I was like... I, well, I don't care if it's women crazy. or whatever, dude. You don't do that. You don't make the fucking main character a fucking side character in his own fucking movie when he's been be, being resurrected from all after all this time, you know, for, especially coming from those Blade movies. This is yep. stupid as shit. Whoever's in charge right now on this... this I'll save it for the other show. Yeah, <laughs> this is this right here is fucking Looks dumb. Strange. This is uh, right here is fucking dumb. Buffy had a, thirteen, yeah. They got a great fucking blade. He's blade. He came to them. They didn't know what to do because that wasn't in the plans. This was but, announced in July, July twenty nineteen. Blade was uh, when he first came on stage at uh, San Diego Comic Con. So they, that's how many years now? Four fucking years coming up. Yeah, on they, they could have been. And, and look, it's because it's still in. It has. It's still in pre-production because they haven't fucking. Did they film anything? No, they haven't filmed anything yet. I think they're still working on the script. So we're still away from a whole production and and pre-production, post-production, or production, post-production into this movie being released. Bullshit. Too much time has passed. And I'm afraid. The good thing is, Mahershala is still fucking young. He is the yeah, perfect black. Black don't crack, man. Black don't and, crack. And, 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 it's it's, for like it's just years. no, but there are people out there who are starting to talk about, oh, bring Wesley back. I'm like, no, dude, he's fucking old. As yeah, much as I would man, love I to have a young Wesley Snipes, it's blade. not Wesley Snipes. It's 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 a new day, man. And Mahershala, he's got swag. Uh, he can he can pull this shit off. He, I mean, not pull this shit off. He's gonna fucking knock it out the park. He's perfect for Blade. But hey, Blade was you gotta, you gotta, out, Blade was supposed to come out yesterday. Wow. <laughs> that was, that's, November 3rd was the release date when they this first is, announced it. This is the fucked up part about why are they getting I'm I'm sorry, I don't know what he's done. Why are they getting Basim Tar Tarek to do this shit? Yeah. Well, he, why are they well, getting, that's, well that's why they fired his ass. <laughs> why are they getting the other guy to, who what's the other guy done? What's the new director done? 
Let's see, Yan Yan Damage. You know who I would have gave it to? Let me. I'll tell you right now who I would have given this movie to, I, if I can remember his name. If no, no, I'm gonna look it up because I don't remember. I, I kind of vaguely. This, this, this is supposed to look up stuff. Uh, yeah. Let's see, uh, Yan Damage. I kind of like that name. Yeah. Um, he worked uh, White Boy Rick was one of his movies. <laughs> yeah, okay. I heard that was actually a good movie. I just I never I, saw I, it. I heard so too. I just I can't bring myself to watch it because of the, the just the title. Like that's kind of <laughs> fucked up, man. <right? laughs> <Grace is perfect. clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah, he's uh, a French French director, so uh, Hondo would be excited about that. Okay, uh, so I, I would I would suggest that they were to get somebody who actually like directs horror. Um, because you're directing horror. That's what you're doing. Uh, I like. I would have maybe gone after the guy who did Thirty Days of Night. Scott uh, Scott Derrickson probably would have been good for this. Scott Derrickson would have been perfect, but I don't know if he would have. He would come back. Yeah, because of, gotta, yeah, he didn't, like didn't, the way he didn't want to do what he wanted to do. Uh, you know, and the thing is, whatever reports out there, I'm not going to believe it. I would rather hear from him, and I don't think he's really talked much about it. The, the people were saying that it, it, he, he was trying to do this. No, well, I, I don't think so because he wants to make a horror movie. He was told he was going to make a uh, a supernatural horror movie and he wasn't allowed to. Yeah. Uh, you know, but you got to get a horror director. Scott Derrickson would have been perfect. You know, or how about, well, he was probably working with WB. That's why he won't do it. Like James Wan. Lee, Lee Wan. No. Whoa. Lee Wanell. That fucking guy, man. Yeah, I see you, dude. Fucking hey, I didn't want to get fucking taken down again. I got too many Parkour. fucking windows. Parkour. Open. Yeah, <laughs> fucking little guy. I looked at him like, no, uh, no. It's like somebody pushing. That's like fucking baby group pushing the button, man. Wow, that was scary. But yeah, dude, it's just you got to get a you got to get a horror director for this. You know, is, is they right now they, they have a good relationship. You know, I would have liked to see with he, he well, he's done shit for Disney. I would like to see Robert Rodriguez fucking direct the Blade movie. That'd be cool. I'm I'll be totally down with that. Because he would make Blade the main character. Yeah. The gun the gunplay would be fucking dope. The sword play would be fucking dope. It's action. Yeah, yeah I, I totally be down. I like it. like uh, Rodriguez with a budget. Yeah, you know, uh, it's just, I just I just don't get this is, and I'll get into it with you know further. But Marvel's going budget right now, which I think it's a smart like cut back shit. Not everything has no, to no, be. A I, big budget, I, budget, I, budget. I get that, but you know what they're cutting back? They're they're not cutting back on the effects. They're cutting back on the quality of people that they're hiring. True. Yeah. Like when you have a smaller budget, it forces you to be more creative. So I think. Uh, yeah, I, I, go back to practical effects instead of fucking. Yeah, uh, be more creative. Which yeah. you don't have to, and not everything has to be fucking CG, fucking bomb, fucking bullshit. Not everything has to be a CG suit or a CG fucking big explosion thing. Uh, it, it, they, yeah, I think they need to kind of rethink their strategy on a lot of shit. Like some shit, yes, Avengers needs to have a three hundred million dollar budget because it's fucking so it's great. Avengers. Shang Chi should have a like eighty million dollar budget. It should be a kung fu. Fucking badass action flick, not a fucking uh, big epic. Oh, we need um, a Lord of the Rings style battle at the end. Uh, big Leo from the Gold Dirty Bastards. Um, Disney and horror don't mix well. I I, I agree to an extent. Actually, Disney <coughs> could, could be pretty horrific at times. Horror off by I, night, I, man. That was a great I, horror. Uh, yeah, horror that was thing. a good fucking horror thing. <clears throat> I mean, even even the imagery that um, uh, that Disney shown him shown us in the past. You know, there's a lot of haunting imagery that. Uh, Still fucking scares a lot of fucking kids to this day. I know I have my own one when it comes to Disney. Fucking that scene in fucking Peter Pan, dude. Like fucking. Yo, that's that's one, that's one for some people. Yeah. Scary my, mine comes from like like the rescuers, and it's all that Don Bluth animation. <laughs> yeah, Yo, dude, it's fucking cool. scary with the music and the and the setting of the tone when you're in a swamp. Oh, that's fucked up. Mm. You know, it's just it's just the imagery that you remember. So Disney does mix horror in with their shit. It's just they don't want. That's why I'm very hopeful for Echo. Echo, if Echo does well, they'll fucking green light the the other movie, the uh, Blade as a as a rated R movie. The other one they're waiting for too is Deadpool. Deadpool, but, you know, they, they, why they, are they waiting they, on Deadpool, Deadpool though? Deadpool's yeah, they, solid. 
They already said uh, Deadpool is going to be rated R. They already yeah. know. No, no, no. Well, that's what I mean. They're waiting oh, on they're, Deadpool. Oh, yeah. You want to see how well it does? Yeah, yeah. If it makes money, they'll be but okay. Yeah, it, sure. But Deadpool made money. That's the whole thing the first time. Now, they, now because not, not under, it's the, a Disney mouse, budget. No, yeah, not under the mouse regime. Yeah, so now it's a Disney budget. So, yeah, see, I, I, I agree. Echo Trailer does look sick. Yeah, Echo um, Trailer looks good. Yeah, Leo from Leo from the four one five. Fucking uh, you man, you have to update your photo, man. You don't look like that no more, man. That's like a young twenty year old big Leo, man. Come on, man, stop fronting, bro. <laughs> Goddamn, calling him out. <laughs> and it doesn't give Disney vibes. Yeah, it feels like a Netflix, like one of the Netflix shows. Like it feels like more of a more. But under under the Disney, but this is still under the Disney. It feels banner. like a Netflix show. It feels good, like, good fellas. Like it feels like a Netflix show with a more of a budget because those Netflix shows were pretty on budget. They were like pretty under budget. They weren't like fucking big spectacular, you know. Uh, not uh, until you hit. Not until your second, third season, you start. You know, you bring you bring in the money. Then you got a little bit more of a budget. But like Disney's lucky because they can start you up. How much you need to make your show? Here you go. Make it yeah. good though. You know, and I'm hoping this is good. It looks sick. The trailer does look sick. It makes me very hopeful for it. You know, Ray's just afraid. Like, and I am afraid too that they put all the best parts. And I'm afraid with any of that of that truly though, right? With any fucking movie, like <laughs> the best the best parts are always in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, one thing's I'm. Uh, oh, what's up, Lori? Late to the party. Hey, uh, hey guys, just joining. There's going to be a Prison Break reboot, apparently. Oh, I need to watch the first Prison Break. I guess. Yeah, I, was, I didn't really care about the first one. <laughs> Only thing I know about the Prison Break show is that the two guys were in uh, the Flash as a heat wave and Captain Cold. <laughs> That's pretty much. Yeah, That's I know. I know my knowledge. <laughs> and, and I know that the guy who was playing Heat Wave, he was in two bad vampire movies. So how about that? Oh, yeah, yeah, he was a bad Dracula for sure. Yeah, very bad Dracula. Uh, so something that could be exciting or could uh, like, oh, please don't mess this up. Uh, so there's a big uh, theory going around this week that uh, there was a meeting with Marvel, and they're talking about possibly pivoting away from Kang and pivoting towards our Lord and Savior, Doctor Doom. Uh, so yeah, this has been uh, posted in a bunch of uh, a bunch of places. Uh, uh, doc, uh, this is from Screen Rant, I believe. Uh, Screen Rant. Doctor Doom's MCU introduction could be just around the corner, but one theory suggests he not might not be uh, might not be the Doom that audiences are familiar with. Doctor Doom could be coming to the MCU, but one theory suggests he could in fact be the hero of the Avengers, the King Dynasty. Since Disney acquired 20th Century Fox in 2019. There's been a huge amount of excitement for Dr. Doom's debut in the MCU, yes, uh, especially after two lackluster attempts to bring the Marvel super vin villain to the big screen, Fox's Fantastic Four films. Uh, yeah, and we've heard a lot of rumors. Like, like I think they should have started this uh, this a, a while ago. Once they got the rights, they should have dropped some, like, Latverian hints, some, like, fucking who's the guy mm. running the uh, things. Like, a little tidbits here and there, I think they should have started dropping uh, but now they want to pivot now. Like the, uh, the Jonathan Majors thing is kind of like they're up in the air. Uh, the, he, he needs to be done right. Do Doom needs to be fucking done, done right. Uh, and if they're going to do a, um, a Secret Wars movie uh, coming up, uh, he is a big part of the Secret Wars, both the old one and the new one. So he needs to be part of this. Uh, so did you uh, hear about these rumors uh, that they were kind of, they they want to they were talking about pivoting and said they were going to be pivoting, uh, trying to fill uh, fill out the uh, after the Jonathan Majors uh, situation, uh, after his trial uh, gets set and stuff, because uh, if, if you have if you haven't been watching Loki, he is fucking he is killing it, and I'm so I'm like so rooting I'm like so not rooting but hoping uh, the shit doesn't come out and he's proved innocent because he's killing it right now. Uh, it's gonna bum me out if we lose him because he's such a great actor. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I don't know, man. What are your thoughts on this, man? Well, a lot of shit's coming out about the other person as well now. So yeah. Um, let's just wait till my, my hope, my hope is that Disney doesn't make a mistake and pivot too early. Look, I would have preferred having Dr. Doom somewhere right off the bat already. Uh, but you know, things didn't, things weren't in place for it to happen. And you had to like, kind of do the setup and you already started with Kang. You, I don't know how long you can delay this shit for. Um, yeah, I it's a, it, it's a gamble. Yeah, there were two. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're. You need to start throwing these hints in. I need to see some X Men. I need to see some Fantastic Four references. I need, you know, you need to combine this Marvel universe. 
Yeah, um, I just um like it's just uh for Jonathan Majors, I'm just hope I don't know how soon the fucking trial is gonna happen. And they I'm not pushed sure. it back, I believe. So I I think it's gonna happen it, January now. Disney doesn't want to wait because as long as he's waiting for trial and waiting for trial and waiting for trial, it's all bad publicity until then. Forget Dr. So, Doom, I'm still waiting for Mephisto. <laughs> he's coming in Ironheart, apparently. He's uh, that's what Sasha Baron Cohen is apparently he, playing. And that's another character I'm worried about. Oh, you know, so I think that's a good pick for uh, no, 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 no. How he's going to be written? What's what's the imagery going to be? Oh, uh, he's a dick. He's a fucking asshole. That's what I mean. Yeah, but they they have a lot of a lot of audiences. They have to please, not just us. The you know, this audience. Are they going to go full on Mephisto, or are they going to be bitches and you know placate to uh, special interests, especially you know fucking other countries, governments and shit. You got to fucking do what you got to do. You got to make the movies that you got to make, you know, albeit fuck, fuck everybody else. Make your, make your shit. Don't bow. Yeah. Uh, even though Dr. Doom is often considered one of the Marvel's greatest supervillains, the Latvian monarch on occasion has joined forces with Earth's mightiest heroes to battle several threats. He's saved the world many times. Uh, while some may refer to Doom as an occasional anti-hero, the term anti-villain actually fits better, as Doom regularly does evil things with good intentions. The cru a crux of this is that Doom feels that the world would be better off, a better place if he was in control. Uh, so he seeks to take over the Earth by any means necessary. Obviously, the regu uh, that regularly puts him in odds with the Avengers and Static Four, but it makes him one of Marvel's most complex characters. Uh, yes, uh, like Doom. You can respect that man right there, man. Doom, Doom like there's the, the Doom has seen all like alternate futures. The only one that is prosperous and is where everyone lives in peace and harmony is where he's in control, where he takes over. So that's where, like, that's his intentions. He wants to take over the world to make it a better place. And he's done it a couple times where he has made a utopia, and it kind of gets stripped from him. Or his arrogance kind of gets in the way sometimes. Uh, and like I'm, I, like I'm a big Doctor Doom fan, as most people know. Uh, uh, so I need. Uh, he's a very complicated. Like I wouldn't even call him a villain. He's just one of, one of those complicated characters ever. Uh, yeah, he's teamed up with the uh, Fantastic Four. He uh, he's he's been on the Fantastic Four at one point. Uh, he's uh, just just uh, such an interesting character. I, I want people. To, uh, he's in everybody's people, shit. Yeah, he he's involved in a lot of shit, and I just want people to like to discover this because I love this fucking character so much. Uh, he's he's so complicated. I love it. Like his origins, very uh, interesting. His you know the. The shit he does is very his intentions. Uh, just uh, yeah, I, I, it's it, I'm excited, but I I just don't want. I, I already saw Doom done a couple times, not good, and I I just want it to be done well before I die. I want Doctor to Doom to be fucking uh, <clears throat> be uh, be uh, get his shit together, get their shit together, have Doom done right. Uh, Renee, metal versus metal, Victor Von Doom versus Iron Man. I'll destroy his ass. Uh, Iron Man's fucking. Uh, Garbage compared to and Doom. A great, um, a great uh, story. Uh, story of uh, Doom guest starred on Iron Man uh, in the comic where they went back in time to medieval times, and pretty much they had to like you know fight um, like I think in King Arthur's court and stuff. And he like Doom is very re regal and he he loved that shit. He was like fucking totally in his element. Uh, and and Doom is you know he's Doom is Iron Man and Doctor Strange combined. You know. He's got the, the science, the science, one of the most smartest men in the world, and he can rival Doctor Strange in magic. So that that's a that's a double threat right there, man. It's just such a fucking great character. Uh, read uh, Triumph and Torment if you want to read a good uh, Doctor Strange and uh, Doctor Doom storyline. Have you read that one yet? Uh, Triumph. And oh Torment. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great, great, great story. That needs to be a fucking movie if they if they're gonna do a, a team up with Doctor Strange and uh, Doctor Doom. That'd be great. Uh, Hondo, let's go November SF Fan Expo. You're going right, Grayson. What's the, the Fan Expo? That's the one where Hamill's going to be at. Uh, and uh, or the Fonz. And the Fonz is going to be there. Uh, um, fucking uh, Adrian Bar Bardo is going to be there. That's good. And they're actually reasonably priced, priced too. Uh, Jason Lee, I got my Jason Lee uh, photo ticket already. I got my badge in the mail uh, yesterday, so I'm super excited. How much and of is course, it to get in? course Everett's gonna go it's on a saturday come on it's on it's moscone center you can actually go to it yeah how much is it i don't know like 40 bucks we'll we'll, we'll start a go fund you uh fund me for free to go there you go <laughs> i appreciate that 
<laughs> part of the Patreon pre Patreon package. Send effort to the <laughs> Fan Expo. <laughs> uh, and it's, they're, they're adding some good names. Uh, Sam Raimi canceled. That's the only, that's the only bummer. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, but uh, we got, you know, we got fucking William Shatner, fucking um, Hugh McGregor, fucking F- uh, Fonzie's pretty reasonably priced too. I'm, I might have to get a fucking picture with Fonzie, man. He's fucking Henry Winkler's fucking awesome, man. Um, so. Yes, effort should be no. You know what? No, effort's going. All right. If he loves this channel, he'll go. Uh, are we gonna go? We're, we're gonna start doing that shit now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maximum effort. Effort does not care about SF. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lori's gonna ask the same thing. Laura will be there. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do a SF Convo co-, uh, co meetup. How about that? That'll be fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, uh, Renee should uh, they should just make an all out DC versus Marvel truly all out war. Every superhero, uh, every villain fighting each other. I can see that being done like 20, 30 years, like when they run out of everything and just like, all right, let's fucking team up and make a movie. But it's just too many, too much politics, uh, in that right now. Unless fucking somehow, <clears throat> which is not out of the realm of possibility, uh, Disney buys fucking Warner Brothers or buys DC and fucking just fucking owns all this shit because Disney is the evil corporation. But I love them. Dude, uh, that would fucking trip me out if that ever happened. I I could see it happen in in like thirty that's years. A, that's a huge fucking. That's a huge fucking bill. Yeah, that's a that's gonna be a lot of money on that. <laughs> that's like a five. That's, like, that's one of the original. I mean, when you think of like all the studios, it's Warner Brothers, MGM, you know, uh, Universal. That's that's a huge pickup, man. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. That's one of the it's fucking a, yeah. and Warner Brothers is kind of a mess right now. So they've been, I think they've been looking to try to sell uh sell off their shit. So uh Lori, I got tickets to see Henry Winkler at the current uh, in November. Yeah, he's play- that same weekend he's gonna be at Fan Expo. He's gonna be at the current theater doing like a, a speak a speaking engagement. One, one man or it's a one man. I'm not going. I'm not going. I didn't get a press pass. Oh, oh, I didn't get a press pass. Oh, but you should go do a live show or some some streaming if you can. So sorry, Lori. You 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 don't have a press pass. You can't go to the show. God, God you're such a, uh, a paparazzi. Yeah, just go to the show, Lori. Stop being stop being lame. Come on. Paparazzi. <laughs> Shout out to Lori. Uh, Lori got my uh, chuckles. Made some calls. Made it happen. My chuckles was lost in the Wisconsin and. Lori made the call and got it, got it, got it. Uh, oh, conveniently, they found it once uh, you know, once we put up a fuss about it. So what the, what the package look like? Uh, it's pretty cool. It's like it's uh, it's uh, no, 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 no. Was the package opened or anything? Like, no, no, no. Package no, was okay. fine. Yeah, they were yeah. trying to hold on to it for like you know sale or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, maybe if uh, Rick's uh, good for, uh, I, I, I might have an extra one for uh, Mr. Effort if he's a good boy for his birthday. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> Who's a good boy? Uh, <laughs> uh, but I think, uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, we'll definitely talk more about Doom in uh, in uh, our MCU episode. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the main thing I'm I'm looking forward to. I need I need Doom in my life. I want to see it done right. And Cra- crazy enough, right? He's probably the only character that can fucking fix the MCU. Yeah, yeah, that's a good that's a good point. Uh and I just want yeah, I just want people to know how great this character is. You and can't you can't kill him off either. Mm-hmm, yeah. He has to slink away, no, lick his wounds, and like, come back and fight again. He sometimes he's gonna be their greatest enemy, sometimes he's gonna be their greatest ally. So you know yeah. that's that's basically what Doom is. You know, he's uh either gonna have to fight him or you're gonna have to fucking uh, you ask him for like yeah, they they've been so desperate in the Marvel universe where they're like, We need we need Doom. Like he's he's the one that you know, uh, and when you put Richards and Doom together, like once they stop bickering and fighting, they are they're a dangerous duo. So like they're fucking like they kind of uh, balance each other out. So I'm just I'm just fucking I need I need to get get this one right, please. Of all the shit, get this one right. I, I imagine when fucking Doom like they're coming to to ask Doom for help, he's like sitting on the tombstone just like Beetlejuice when fucking Lydia asks for help. I need your help. Yeah. Well, you know what you have to do, huh? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I, I just, I just see him like, oh, you, oh, you need my help. Oh, okay. Just, so, you, you just tell me I'm the greatest. Uh, yeah. uh, he, he, he truly is probably him and the X Men are probably the only characters that can fix the MCU. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. So I, 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 we'll see what happens. I, I'm a, like best case scenario, bring in Doom. Uh, yeah, he can take out Kang, uh, and him and Kang have had fi- fought a lot during the uh, during the years. Uh, you know what's but- funny though, right? I would rather have single X Men movies than these all these single movies that they're doing for 
these guys right now? Like if yeah. they were to make a rogue movie or like Iceman yeah, movie. Start off, yeah, start off with uh, like just origin, like storm, do a storm movie. Storm movie. Her origin's fucking super cool. Like when she was a, a you know, a she was a th thief in Cairo. Uh, and then she becomes a fucking, uh, she comes worshipped by a, a, a village as a, a guy, a goddess because she, uh, she can uh, control the weather. Um, she, she has a very cool, um, you know, you throw in the Shadow King in there too. That's part of her origin. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could do a lot of cool shit with Storm, and I kind of set it up to uh, set up with you know some ties to Wakanda too. Uh, you can do a lot of shit with the Storm. Um, Cyclops could have a, a movie. Cyclops, Cyclops like, and Havoc. Like, him and Havoc, you know, their childhood and you know what happens to their father and them trying to grow up in the orphanage with Mister Sinister like lurking around and like how he gets discovered by uh, Professor X and stuff. You could do a lot of shit like that, man. Uh, like I wouldn't even mind like a TV show like a, a Disney Plus series where every episode you focus on a different X Men character, like their origin. Like that would be fucking awesome. I would but, be totally awesome. but but do you see how more a list that shit is than what they're, they're currently doing? Yeah, like I'll, I'll yeah I'll take a you know a B list X Men character because you know they're more interesting than the fucking they're way more interesting. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Lori put in the call. She threatened him. Mm -hmm. she said, Where's my chuckles, motherfucker? Give me my chuckles now. <laughs> they probably were confused. <laughs> uh, uh, what do you say there, uh, lady? <laughs> Out there, Wisconsin, right? The Green Bay. <laughs> uh so yeah we'll see man uh yeah like i said we'll talk more about uh the mcu uh coming up in a couple weeks on the no november 14th yeah uh, with the uh, crossover with the, the the multiverse of madness uh the crossover with the gold dirty bastards and uh we'll do some uh so it'll be a fun show we'll be basically we're just talking the mcu uh mcu for a couple hours uh should be fun a, little, a lot of different opinions for sure it's gonna All be right. upsetting there's gonna be a lot of anger in that show because of what you know what's happened with the MCU, man. Much At least anger. on my part, much anger. But yeah, there's a lot to say for sure. All right. Uh so speaking of anger, uh let's uh let's jump in the pool. Let's get the pool going. Let's get the pool list. Uh it's basically stuff you listen to, good or bad. Uh, something you watched, <clears throat> something that uh something you listened to, something you bought, something that pissed you off, something that made you happy, uh something that you know, you know whatever you want to talk about. Some good TV shows on right now. Some bad TV shows. Good movies. Uh, uh, whatever. I don't need that part. All right. Uh, so uh, we'll start off with the, the anger. Mr. Effort, what, uh, what, you, what you got? You want to start with the anger? Okay. Yeah. Let the anger flow through you. All right. So I was looking through trailers. You know, I watched the Godzilla trailer. Fucking loved it. Um, I watched the trailer for Shogun as well. I didn't watch uh, that one. Oh, it's great. It's great. Uh, I'm fucking. Uh, I am ready for uh, this kind of fucking show. Uh, some. I don't think. I don't think they've done a show like this. Like this. Like taking like Japanese culture back then. Uh, you know, like the shoguns and stuff. Like the feudal lords, the feudal warlords. Okay, so that and then, and then, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I I come across a trailer. I don't know if you've heard of this. The Fall Guy. I I saw a thumbnail about it. Okay, so it. do you, you do you remember the Fall Guy? Yeah. I, I, so I watched where, the trailer. Remember the Fall Guy? Yeah, I, I remember the, the trailer. I remember the so the trailer has Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, where she's a director, he's a stuntman. I was like, hmm, this kind of stuntman, Fall Guy. Hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's a kind of like a, a romance kind of thing kind of movie so it is based and on the tv show it's based on the lee majors tv show what the fuck are you guys doing this is what this is what pisses me off with fucking hollywood dude first of all they don't know the theme of the show the theme of the show i don't know if you could really do that kind of show as a fucking movie unless you did something stupid like this and fucking turn it into a fucking rom-com <laughs> the show wasn't a rom-com the show was one of those episodical adventure stories where they're trying to figure out crimes. If the fall guy would have had like, uh, uh, like a crime happen on set or something, you know, something that happened on the fucking shoot that they were at, I think would have been more interesting, you know, cause that's the kind like, I, I'm tired of everybody trying to take these old shows that weren't like, they weren't comedies. They weren't comedies. Like, uh, the, well, the fall guy is kind of like a dramatic comedy, but this is rom romantic comedy very fucking different what the fuck are we doing man like why are we making why why are we... 
I, I don't. I, I've always wanted to see a Streets of San Francisco movie. I, I'm afraid they would turn it into, you know, uh, Twenty One Jump Street, Hearts and Souls, or some shit. Yeah, or Twenty One Jump. No, you know what's the worst? Chips. Chips. Chips yeah. shouldn't have been. Chips shouldn't I, have been I, made. I, I, that kind of show. It's a cop. It's a cop drama, not fucking a fucking cop comedy like there's that. There's some humor you know? in it. There's definitely humor and like yeah, uh, but they, they the movie they did they could have did that separate and not even called it chips. You know, you didn't have to call it chips because it didn't feel like chips. Uh, I just I'm tired of like the 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 shit that I I remember and oh well, we're trying to make something new. Okay, make something new. Make something good. Make something good. You know, don't just well we're gonna go for the lady comedy. Other than the attraction of Lee Majors back in the 80s for the ladies, I don't know if they would have been watching that show. You know, it's it's there's a demographic. People don't like to hear it, but that's the way it that's the way it was back then. You know? Um I just don't I fucking hate that they do the they do this shit. Uh, like uh, the good the good shows, you know. Next thing you're gonna I, I wonder what they would do if they made Knight Rider today. Like how much they would change? I would definitely start Chris Pratt. Ooh, that's <laughs> it would that's definitely good. start Chris Pratt if they made a night. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of tired of like taking the the core of what a show is and just taking the name of something and just spinning it into something else. Yeah, like, like, it, like they, it, at that point, it just doesn't even look like the original. The show original, anymore. yeah, just, just you're just going by name, name value. It's, it's, it's like uh, perfect example, Ghostbusters 2016. Just took the name, and they did something else. They can't. People. Well, they, they took need to the name, and then, no, they took the name and tried to remake the original. Like, no, that's not. No, tried to do something else. Uh, oh, but it's women now, so it's be, it's going to be it's, real great. Tried to do something else. They they could have just kept the continuity that they were all family members. Yeah, they're or, all the daughters, they're all, or, or they all or they all knew somebody within it. You know? Yeah, not all, that they all had daughters, related, but they all, related somehow to them. Yeah, exactly. You know, but I just don't get it. Like, just don't make it. Make it a make it something cool. Just don't make it. Just don't look. La 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 la. Just don't look. Yeah, that's just. Hey, man, I was, you need a minute, man. <laughs> uh, dude, I was just. I'm just angry because it's like. Oh, what I don't even, what I don't even bother watching it. I don't. I really don't care about it. I have no. No. Out of my radar for that. Really. Well, I heard Fall Guy. I thought I was gonna be like, huh? I think I first thing I thought I was like, oh, it's gonna be the Fall Guy TV series. Oh, let me see this. Then I started watching, it and I was just like, I didn't know it was the Fall Guy until they called him Colt Seavers. I was like, that sounds familiar. Let me go check. And then I first wrong Colt Seavers. First fucking face. See, I, I picture I see Lee Majors. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, I wasn't on my uh radar, uh, the fall guy, the original one. I, I didn't, I don't remember actually watching that show. I, I used to watch just, it because my dad watched it, you know. I, yeah. I, I think it was on the block. Uh, I think I was on that a couple episodes. block. Oh, Heather Thomas back in there, yeah. Uh, Terry Michaels, too. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Oh, Marky yeah, Post dude. was on that show, too. Yeah. Oh, I miss Marky Post. Um, yeah, I was. I, just, like, yeah, I yeah. think I, I remember the show, but I never remember watching it. Yeah, it was one of my dad's shows, and you know, I watched it because he watched it. But it was a, it was a good show. Mm. Cool. Yeah, fuck those guys. Yeah. So Chuckles. here's my chuckles, man. I, I put I the beat up. I like the beat up face on him. Man. <laughs> he comes with a bunch of accessories. He got like a binocular. He has like a little, uh, uh, uh little cassette player, which looks like Soundwave, uh, on purpose. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Have they done all of those characters? The um, the, uh, the slaughter, the yeah. slaughter, marauder, what, slaughter marauders. Yeah. Uh, they haven't did Big Boa. They did um, they did uh, uh what's the, the the Jinx? They did Jinx, right? They haven't done Jinx yet, and uh, Big Boa. Tunnel Rat. They did. I have Tunnel Rat. Uh, I have Chuckles. Uh, the, who's the, the other basketball, one? Basketball, basketball player. Fal and Fal they did Falcon. Falcon had a horrible uh figure. I didn't really? Argue. Yeah, it was not a good figure. Everybody like Falcon much. too. I like Falcon too, uh, but he yeah, pretty much everyone shitted on the. He looks so bad. Like the figure look, the face sculpt is so bad. People hate that figure. Uh, but the chuckles is cool. It comes with like a little briefcase with a uh, with a little file in there, uh, like a broken handcuff thing. He has some brass knuckles. He comes with his gun, knife, uh, uh, some headphones. 
uh, binoculars. It's it's a really cool figure. I'm really happy. I have the original figure too, uh, on card, of course. Um, uh, yeah, I just it just kind of like he had no dialogue in the GI Joe movie, like the movie. But uh, I just always liked the character. It was interesting. And uh, I uh, IDW did a comic, a series of them, which uh, I have I hear good things about, and I have the have the comic, so I haven't read it yet. But uh, I like Ch Chuckles as a character. It visually, just look cool, just like a like a private eye kind of like you know just. Like a mix of a private eye and a GI Joe, it's just kind of weird, weird, obscure character. But one of my favorites, uh, yeah, big, big Chuckles fan. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's cool. Uh, Invincible episode one started. Uh, uh, Lori, I've watched Shogun, they had a cool in uh, installation at San Diego Comic Con this year, uh, with full on samurai fights. Oh, cool. yeah, Hiro Hiroyuki Sonata, dude. I got it back everywhere. That guy's in, yeah, the so he, he's he's the one anchoring the show. It kind of, yeah, so what, I feel like. What is this Show on? Uh, it's gonna be on FX. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it just it looks really good, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, Invincible uh, episode season two, episode one uh, started. I thought it was good, good, a good uh, first episode. Uh, put us back in the world of uh, Invincible. I'm watching uh, that today. Yeah, Langstrom. Uh, Langstrom is uh, uh, introduced. Uh, uh, if you read the comic, you know that's a huge character in the comic. Uh, so it's a uh, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good introduction for him. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm excited about this show. I love this show. I love last season. We're, we're big uh, Invincible fans around here. Uh, what else? What else did I? Uh, uh, great Halloween. Uh, <laughs> Uh, great Halloween marathon. I, I watched like six movies on Halloween. It was a fun show. Watched uh, Curse uh, Curse of the Werewolf uh, from um, 1961. Uh, Hammer Films. Uh, was it Oliver Reed? I think uh, Curse uh, the Werewolf. Uh, Oliver Reed. I think who's a uh, who's the the werewolf in that movie? Uh, very very um, uh, very slow. But I, I love those Hammer horror movies. Uh, there, if you're if you're a fan of a uh, cleavage. Hammer Horror is where to go because uh, <laughs> there's good cleavage all over the place. Yeah, Oliver Reed, one of his first uh, first movies. Uh, if you know Oliver Reed, he was in uh, Gladiator. He was a, a famously uh, party animal. He, uh, he would uh, drink and do crazy shit. Uh, he's really good in it. Yeah, uh, very good. It. There's a uh, Yvonne Romain. She's fucking gorgeous. Uh, great, great, uh, uh, great movie. If you haven't seen it, Hammer Horror, always cool. Uh, so yeah, I had a yeah a nice little um, nice little marathon of movies. Did a little, I did a zombie movie, I did a werewolf movie, I did a slasher movie. I kind of went through the whole uh, most of the genres uh, uh, that day. So it was a fun Halloween, just kind of laying back, eating some candy, watching horror movies all day. It was great. Uh, how was your Halloween, man? Quiet, bro. Yeah, yeah. If I'm not working, I'm staying. I'm staying at home and chilling. I'm not going out. <laughs> There's no point. It, it see. I remember when I was a kid, Halloween used to be kind of like uh, the scene in ET when they go trick or treating. You just see trick or treaters everywhere. You, I don't see. I don't see that as much anymore. Even when I'm like, no. driving around. No, not yeah, the unless city. certain neighborhoods. Yeah, certain neighborhoods. They, they, it's a like it's a block party. Fair Oaks, you know, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Sea Cliff. But other than that, you know, like city's dead. Uh, yeah. yeah, cool. Well, on that positive note, um, any uh, any hidden gems for us this week? Uh, no hidden gem. Hidden gem will probably be the, the this. <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the state of Marvel uh show that we do. That's gonna be it's gonna be pretty fiery, man. I think I think a lot of us have a lot of a lot of shit to say about Marvel. I'm not saying uh, I I know we have we have a lot of good things to say, but I know there's a lot of criticism of things that they've done of late. Yeah, we, yeah, we'll, we'll need to put together like a, a little list of all the, yeah, all the the shit that's come out after Endgame and the shit that's either coming out or got canceled coming up. So we'll we'll have a list and kind of go through what what's what the hit and misses for sure. Um, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, we'll 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 probably depends if there's some big drops next week. We'll maybe we'll skip a week because we we got some plans next weekend. Uh, but uh, let's 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 see how it goes. If something big drops, we'll do an episode uh, next yeah. week. Uh, but if not, uh, Tuesday the fourteenth, we got a big, uh, big state of the MCU. Uh, Gold Dirty Bastards are beyond. Honda will be on. It's going to be a big epic battle royale of the Marvel universe. Uh, basically, a, a bit session about the MCU state of the MCU. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we'll, 
Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, well, ho- hopefully Kevin Foggy is, uh, he'll watch and he'll set everything straight after he watches our show. <laughs> we not, we can fix it for you, Kevin. Just give us the, give us the book. We'll fix it for you. Uh, all right. Um, I think thinking of something else, but yeah, I think that's good for now. Uh, kind of semi Frank special. Uh, speaking of which go, uh, go check out, uh, amazing fantasy on Irving, go buy some comics. Uh, you know, support your local comic shop as much as you can. Keep those guys alive as much as you can. Um, yeah, shout out to everyone that uh, watches the show too, man. Any uh, final words before we get out of here, man? Uh, yeah, uh, be a good human being to somebody or to everybody, and don't be a fucking pickpocket, fucking shoplifting piece of shit. That's about it. Mm-hmm. Tell us how you really feel, man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, yeah, be safe. Like I said, like, subscribe, share this uh, with people. Uh, let people know about the channel. Uh, follow us on the social medias: uh, Instagram, uh, Ray Doomzilla, Maximum Effort Grayson. Uh, there is an Instagram for the channel, but no one yeah. does anything with it. It's kind of just there. Uh, but uh, it's yeah, segment. it's uh, Facebook for all the boomers. You want to go uh, comment and look at news. Uh, go check out the Facebook uh, Facebook page, uh, and uh, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be back in a couple weeks, if not sooner. Uh, one more. Who's who's gonna have the final word? Who's gonna have the final word? Uh, there you go, Laura. You get the final word. Uh, be excellent, meow meow, gents. Meow 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 meow. Tell me what I'm thinking, boy. That's one of my favorite lines. I think that was my voicemail for a while. I know you can hear my thoughts, boy. Meow, 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 meow.